So this video is just to kind of explain some of the ways that I'm using uh, auto-loading playbacks and BPM. So I have down here, I have a playbacks window. I've created all of these playbacks and I have set the speed source to be BPM master one. So, um, which I have over here on a fader, on a, just a macro executor button. Um, and what I'm doing for that is using macros to set that at the beginning of each song. So, uh, you know, wake up here is my first song that I'm doing. Um, and so I'll set it for that and then I'll program all my cues for wake. Um, and what I'm doing is I've got all these, these playbacks down here that are um, throwing in auto load on here so that for each different cue, they're just auto loading different playbacks because these are all just some somewhat generic, just baseline stuff that, I'll, that I use a lot. Um, and so, uh, you know, this Q1 is a beam uh, dimmer saw uh, at 100%. Um, and so the, uh, the tempo is gonna be set by the BPM master but I put the um, the actual division, the time division, because I've got it on a four spread. So I'm doing the uh, the time spread on the playback itself. So if I come over here and do open view and hit this playback and come up here and look, you can see the effect speed is set uh, divided by two. And so I have that on each one on how I want them to be divided. So coming back to my main cue list here. Um, let's see if I can just load a queue and uh, so what I've got working for me is um, these uh, the dimmer saw uh, effect and so what I did is I, I programmed the dimmer saw on basically all five of these cues so this is just showing wake with an intro cue underneath it so it's, it's going to carry the uh, macro over, which what I did was scroll over here, auto-loaded the macros in, uh, and I, I wrote a macro to set this BPM exactly what it is for the song, and wrote four different macros for, for each of my four different songs to just set the BPM, uh, which is very easy. Just come down here, uh, when you, you record macro like normal, type in your your bpm so it was like 131 for the first song and then come up here and tap the bpm your uh blue button above your bpm master whether it be here or on a fader and it'll automatically jump to that bpm and then you can just save your macro and that's it and and now you have it automatically setting your bpm at the start of every song so um so now that the uh the macros are all in there you can see i've got this little dimmer going and i'm going to go to my uh my next cue is the uh kind of the intro for this song and you'll see that 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 dimmer saw speed stays exactly the same because there was no there was no uh, macro here to change the bpm so but then on the next song it changes but it goes from 131 to 132 beats per minute so you don't really see the speed change but on this next one as you see the cue change you'll see it the dimmer saw slows down because the uh the macro set the bpm slower and then on the next one i think this one is only dropping about two bpm so you probably won't hardly notice the speed change but those are things that are just uh everything is built into the queue and i'm using preset playbacks uh and building a lot of my m movements and my baseline stuff off of that and all of my divisions for uh for my speed are all set into each one of the playbacks and then a macro is running at the start of every song to set the uh the bpm for the song and that's basically it